right up here along the edge. Turtle? Turtle? You got a turtle? We got one! We got one! Ho ho! Look at that. That's a box turtle. I love this job because I get to do conservation. That's my passion. That's where, you know, I want to contribute. Hi, my name is Scott Buchanan. I work with the Rhode Island Division of Fish and Wildlife and I'm a herpetologist. That means I'm a biologist of reptiles and amphibians. And in the state, we have almost 40 species of reptiles and amphibians. And it's my job to do all things conservation and management of those species. One of the things I have to do is called inventory and management of all these species. And that means basically we go out all throughout the state and try to figure out what species are where and how many there are. Today we're at a fish and wildlife management area in the western part of the state looking for box turtles. With a group of people, we're gonna stare at our feet and we're gonna look for box turtles and hopefully we turn some up. So we just came across a snake shed. This belongs to a black racer, which is a fairly common species. It occurs throughout the state. It has smooth scales. So you can see the scales right there. That's a, a good way to ID this to species. The snakes shed their skin as they grow. It's a way to kind of slough off old cells. This is appropriate habitat, and like right up here along the edge is oh, a place turtle. Turtle? You got a turtle? turtle? We got one! We got one! Oh, look at that. That's a box turtle. Wow, beautiful. This is an eastern box turtle. This is an adult. See how kind of big it is. Maybe only five inches long or so. Huh, interesting. They can be very difficult to tell if it's a male or female. This one has characteristics of a female and characteristics of a male as well. And see how you could probably figure out why we call them box turtles. That thing is all boxed up. There is no way to even see the head, see the limbs. This piece of the shell is called a plastron and it's hinged. When they're walking around, this comes down just like on the back of one of those airplanes that they drop gear out of and its head comes out of there and its arms when it wants to defend itself against a predator boom it just closes up there's no way a fox a coyote a raccoon is getting in this is a study site where we've marked turtles in the past so if this was a turtle we encountered in the past we would know but this is not one of those turtles. This is a new turtle, a new turtle to science. So we're gonna collect um, a whole bunch of kind of basic information, basic data, things like lengths and weight. Um, we might get a blood sample to do genetics down the line, and then we will mark this turtle. And you can put a unique set of marks in those scutes and then you have what is essentially a code for that individual turtle so that if we encounter it in the future we'll know and that technique which is called mark recapture um, allows us to do things like make estimates of population size and keep track of how many males how many females we have in a population things that are important to understand trends in that population over time This, from this moment forward and forevermore, will be Turtle L. We're going to mark the skew that's designated for that letter. We give it a little notch. This doesn't hurt the turtle, like getting a haircut for the turtle. See that little notch there? And then, if we find this again, we know that we found it before. She's all done. Free to go on her way. 
So we just finished our box turtle surveys. There's five of us participating. It took us about two hours and 15 minutes to cover a big chunk of land, partially field, partially forest. And we found only one box turtle. And that's pretty typical of a result for a survey like this. Box turtles are a species of conservation concern in the state. Historically, many years ago, they occurred uh, at much greater numbers in a greater area of the state. Unfortunately, because of all the things that people do, destroy habitat when we build houses and shops and roads, box turtle numbers have declined over time. In areas like this that are undisturbed, that have the appropriate habitat, where box turtles still occur, we want to make sure that we're managing those areas uh, in such ways that box turtles will persist, will continue to thrive well into the future. Box turtles are just one example of a species that's declined over time. And in Rhode Island, there are many species of reptiles, of amphibians, of birds, even of mammals that have declined. And that's why we do wildlife conservation. We don't want those species to disappear from the landscape. Um, they all, in one way or another, provide us with what we call ecological services. We want to prevent extinctions from happening here in Rhode Island. Each of those species is an important part of an ecosystem, an important part of a very complex puzzle. As a state biologist, we have a lot of agency and a lot of ability to do on the ground conservation using science which is a, a, a tremendous responsibility, but a tremendous opportunity and a real privilege.